So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now this video is kind of going to be in two parts. So we're going to start off with a few clips of some diamond and rare moose that I have shot recently on Medved after shooting my great one moose that you may have seen in a previous video. I decided that I was going to carry on just shooting some moose and hoping that maybe another one would pop up between now and the release of the new map which is what we're going to be talking about throughout most of these clips but I have had some nice success since shooting the Great One Moose with some nice trophies, some nice diamonds and a couple of really nice rares as well so I really wanted to include those in a video here just because if another one, you know, another Great One does show up then, you know, it's not so out of the blue. I, You know, I have actually been out here shooting Moose and hoping that one might spawn and honestly half of the reason I've been out here shooting Moose is because I have actually not got a lot of money on this save because if you may remember I actually restarted my save a few months back and I haven't got a whole lot of cash yet on this new save so I figured well I'm gonna need some cash for the new map in order to be able to set it up and everything when it comes out so I figured I would just continue shooting moose that would give me some nice cash and, you know, there's always the chance of another great one showing up. So I've been shooting mainly moose here on Medved, but I have also been shooting some moose and whitetail over on Revontuli Coast. And yeah, mainly just getting money, but also just hoping that maybe eventually a nice great one might show up, you know, just as it as it's happening basically just i'm not grinding really intensely and doing hundreds and hundreds of kills a day but just by shooting a few maybe one pops up so if one does pop up now it won't be so out of the blue because you guys will have seen these clips and know that i am actually out here shooting them and yeah hoping for a nice respawn but while these clips are going on talking about the new map now obviously this is a very hot topic of conversation right now and it seems to me like most people are in agreement that it's most likely going to be Australia. Now I honestly really didn't think we would be seeing an Australian map, I thought it might be somewhere in Europe. But the latest clues, you know, at the beginning and end of the last stream, Beard having the gameplay upside down on the official live stream, and, you know, the music clip that played that apparently is from some Australian folk song from what I've heard, you know, just some really interesting clues that seem to be pointing to Australia. Now, Beard also said several things like bouncing around, down under. There was a lot of little subtle clues that all seem to point to Australia, being the next map. Now, it's all just still speculation at the moment, but it does seem like pretty obvious that that's what they are, you know, hinting towards, I would say. But it's going to be interesting to see what gets revealed on the next live stream coming up this next Tuesday because Beard said we won't want to miss it so I'm thinking we're going to get some kind of reveal and I'm hoping honestly for maybe a teaser trailer or something or just a, you know an official announcement of what the reserve is going to be called or something like that just to give us a you know a final confirmation of the map you know being in Australia because I really do think now that that's where it's going to be and like I said it seems like most people are in a agreement now that Australia is most likely where it's going to be and if it is going to be Australia there is so much potential for really really cool things on an Australian map. Things from crocodiles to banteng to magpie geese, sambar deer, rooster deer, hog deer and um, obviously things like fallow could be on the map, red deer could be on the map you know in terms of returning species so there's a lot of really really cool things that could actually be on an Australian map there's some stuff that I would be really excited to see especially some more deer species so I'm actually really hoping it is going to be an Australian map like I said I honestly was expecting it to be somewhere in Europe and the fact that it is most likely by the looks of things going to be somewhere in Australia I'm so hyped for that I think it's going to be incredible and from what Beard said there is going to be a new great one so I'm really excited to find out what that's going to be especially now I have a great one moose so I'm up to date I have a great one of every species in game again I am super hyped to find out what the next great one to chase after is going to be I am just yeah really really excited about that 
If it is an Australian map, I'm thinking maybe red fox or fallow deer. And if it's fallow deer, I'm going to be so, so, so hype. Fallow deer are a really important species to me. They live around where I live. We see them really regularly. And I really love them as a species. I think they are really cool. And, you know, the possibilities for a great one fallow are really exciting. So if it is a great one fallow, and I'm really hoping it is going to be, I can see myself spending a lot of time chasing after great one fallow deer and if it is an australian map like we're all thinking it's gonna be there's gonna be a ton of new species and probably really cool species to go after as well so i see myself being very very busy for quite a while and i'm really excited about that so i have all my fingers crossed that we're going to be seeing a really awesome map and potentially a really awesome new great one and of course as we get any official information about you know the new map or the new great one anything like that any teaser trailers any reveals that get shown on any of the ew streams or anything that they post i will be talking about that here on the channel and i'm really looking forward to actually talking about stuff like that as they get released because I, I i do expect that we'll be seeing a teaser trailer fairly soon and you know based off of stuff that they've done before maybe we'll get a, a great one reveal stream where beard shows us the new great one so anything like that i'll definitely be talking about it and i'm really looking forward to all of that good stuff coming along the line but this is also something really interesting that ended up happening on my medved as you will have seen i had a really nice diamond level five but also in the same herd was this a level four with a rack that i've only ever seen on level fives now i actually talked in the official discord about this and a couple of people said that they have seen this as a rack on a level four but out of all of the thousands and thousands of kills of moose that I've done, I've never ever seen this rack on a level 4. And I was worried that there was something wrong with my game or something, but apparently this can actually happen. But it's just really, really odd. I've never ever seen this rack on a level 4 before. So if you've ever seen this rack on a level 4, I'd love to know, because it does seem to be unusual. Like I said, I've only got a couple of people that have told me that they have actually seen that rack on a level 4. Because my initial reaction when I saw it stood out there on the ice was that I must have two level fives in the same herd. And when I saw that it was just a, a max weight level four, I was just super confused because I'd never ever seen a level four, even a max weight estimate level four like that, have that rack. That rack I've only ever seen on like level fives, even troll level fives. But yeah, I've never ever seen it on a level 4, so I just wanted to include that in this video because it was just something really unusual that caught me quite off guard. I was so surprised spotting it and seeing that it said level 4. It was really unusual. Also ended up with a really nice size level 4 albino, which was nice. I hadn't had a whole lot of albino moose throughout my Great One grind, so it was nice to see. Unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of this particular rack, and you can see it's kind of two different antlers anyway, but I don't really like either of the antlers too much on this rack, unfortunately. But still, a really, really beautiful moose, and you know, a pure white moose on medved does just look really really cool so a very beautiful animal nonetheless now moving on to sort of the second half of this video and we're starting with a moose because i ended up finding this on revon Tuli coast now the rest of the clips in this video are going to be from revon Tuli, and i have had some really really good luck on revon Tuli in both single player and multiplayer recently and i am so stoked to be able to share these clips with you today so starting off with this little level three albino moose he's really really pretty again the albinos just are really gorgeous for the moose since they got their remodels i think they're really beautiful so i was actually really happy to see that guy and you know getting the heart shot made it even better then we're moving over to take a look at a little waterfowl clip where i ended up finding a level three tufted duck once again i was out on the very famous waterfowl island down in the south of the map and i was sat there with decoy set up hoping to try and get any rares that were on the map to potentially come in i'm always looking for more rare ducks and as I do that, sometimes the big ones show up instead of rares, and this time we ended up with a decent size 967.15 diamond tufted duck. And they are so, so pretty. I love all of the waterfowl now. Their models are so fantastic. So super happy to end up with another diamond tufted duck for the trophy lodge. 
Now, this clip is a little bit interesting. I completely missed those shots there at, that, at this level 3 Capacali. He gave me a bit of a runaround after I initially spotted him, but thankfully this one was actually leaving tracks. I've had a couple recently that I've spotted that just haven't left tracks in multiplayer, and that's been really unfortunate. But this one did leave tracks, so I managed to actually follow him for quite a way and actually finally get him down there as he came down to land. And he's actually a really good size one at 4.8 most of the ones you'll see are you know lower end diamond capicale but 4.8 is actually a pretty good size one you don't see a lot of them that are way above the, the actual requirement so this was a really nice bird to actually get and i absolutely love the capicale this is something that you guys will see quite regularly on the channel probably it still is diamond and rare capicale if i can find them because i'm still after that elusive pale capicale that's the one trophy capicale i still need for the lodge alongside a max score if i could ever get one but this is still a really, really gorgeous bird. And if I could ever get a super rare of these guys, I think it would be just the coolest trophy to me. Because, yeah, I love the Capicale. They are such fantastic animals. And, yeah, they did them so well in this game. Then moving on to another clip. And this time we have a legendary Lynx. This was really funny to me because I got a Lynx call and... I sort of thought in my head, huh, maybe that's a super rare lynx. Should probably just check and see what that is. And I spin around, look for it, and it's actually a legendary. Now, it's not a super rare, it is just a common. But the fact I was thinking, huh, that could be a super rare lynx. Probably should check to see what, you know, what made the call. And it ended up being a legendary. That was really amusing to me because... I don't always check, you know, warning calls and stuff. If I can't see the animal, I won't pursue after it. But I just had a feeling that I should check this particular warning call. And it paid off with a beautiful diamond lynx. And a good size one as well, at 28.66. Managed to get that lung shot in there whilst he was actually sat with his back to us. So I was really happy with both the shot and actually getting the diamond lynx there. Now this next clip is actually from my single player on Revon Tuli. As I mentioned, I've been shooting whitetail and moose here. I've also been shooting mountain hares, hoping to finally get a diamond mountain hare. And while I may not have found a diamond, one of the respawns of one of the males I actually shot, which the males don't make diamond, but they could still be potentially rares, ended up spawning as a rare malted male. Now, unfortunately, my OBS bugged, and you'll have seen there where the clip ends. Unfortunately, it just, the rest of the recording just didn't exist. I don't know what happened. It said that it was still recording when I tried to end the recording. Something really weird happened. Thankfully, I took a screenshot as I was actually in the harvest screen. I wish I could give you, you know, a good look and a close up in the inspect screen and everything. But unfortunately, this is the only screenshot I took because I didn't know OBS was going to bug out on me. But a molting mountain hare. I have a rare mountain hare. These guys are really, really rare. So I'm super stoked about that. It's so unfortunate that of all the clips I've taken recently that OBS bugged out on this one. But I am so glad that I have the screenshot so that I could still share the clip and everything in this video. Because this is a trophy that I'm super stoked about having in my trophy lodge. I Yeah, I'm super, super happy with that. And now for the final clip of this video, I have something to share with you all that is so incredibly rare that I never ever thought I would actually get to encounter one. Miss the first shot and get it on the second shot. And at this point, I'm not confident that it is what I think it is. I am actually looking at a picture of one in the official Discord to try and work out if I am looking at what I think I am. And as I'm walking over to it here and looking at it through the binoculars, I'm starting to think that I actually have potentially one of the rarest trophies in the game on my hands. And I do. I claim it. I see the plumage type. Hybrid. A hybrid hazel grouse. These things are so rare. These are so, so incredibly rare. I never, ever thought I'd get to see one. These are like albino quail levels of rare. Only a couple that I know of have ever been shot. They're ridiculous 
ridiculously rare. I think I've only ever actually seen one posted and heard of one other. You know, there's probably been a few more shot that just haven't been posted and stuff. But in terms of what you actually see get posted, these are just like ridiculously, insanely rare. Like they were something that for the longest time people didn't even know what they looked like because no one had ever posted one and then finally one got posted and you know they're just a really gorgeous looking bird but i just i can't believe i ended up finding one just on this random multiplayer that i ended up getting host of i was in a little random spot on the map looking for mountain hairs still looking for a diamond mountain hair and it was really funny because I saw what looked to be a quite dark hazel grouse running around previously and I shot it and it was just a normal dark plumage type and I thought oh okay that you know could have been a hybrid I'm glad I shot it and found out and then I run across this one and I thought it looked different but I thought ah, it's probably just another dark and I'm probably, you know, probably wishful thinking that it's one of these incredibly rare birds and, you know, that I've got really lucky and found one. And I kind of ran away for like 100, 200 metres and looked while I was doing that in the official Discord at the one picture that I knew had been posted in there. And I was thinking, gosh, that does look like what I just saw. So that's why I, I ran back to go and look again because I just... I had a feeling that it just wasn't right and I just I'm so lucky that I did that because I would have run past one of the rarest animals in the game but you know just getting the quick look at it that I did before it took off the first time I just wasn't sure you know it could have just been another dark is what I was thinking it could have just been another dark plumage type but no it was actually a hybrid these things are like i can't get across how rare these are this is one of the absolute rarest trophies that is possible to get in the game no question about it they are really stupidly amazingly rare and as someone who absolutely loves to collect rare plumage types rare fur types whatever it is i love rares this to me was like striking gold you know it's oh, i can't believe i found one as soon as I realised what I had actually got, I was like shaking because this is so rare. Like, this is the Great One Burb is what I was calling it um, when talking to other people. Because it is, it's like, this is just the rarest thing. <laughs> it's amazingly rare. To me, it is like getting a Great One, honestly. It really is. That's why I called it the Great One Burb because, wow just wow i never thought i'd get one i they're just that rare that i i you know would always hope to find one but i never thought i would get one ever i can't believe i found one literally one of the most amazing trophies i've ever shot in this game and i almost ran past it i'm so glad that i decided you know that just didn't look right let me just go and check and that's why when you watch the clip, I don't actually notice it take off. You'll notice that I'm just sort of auto running towards the spot that I have on my hunter mate of where I last spotted it. And that's because I was actually actively looking at the photograph of one. And then I heard it take off as I was looking at the photo on my iPad. And I heard, you know, because they make a noise when they take off, they do that call. And I heard that and that's what then made me realise, oh, it must be closer than I thought it was. Because I was assuming it must have gone further after I last spotted it. But apparently it didn't. It was still where I last spotted it. And just, yeah, I'm so lucky. I'm so, 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 so lucky. And I'm so grateful that I have one of these absolutely incredible, incredible birds to put in my trophy lodge i am so lucky i am so incredibly lucky and i'm so incredibly grateful just wow just wow that is yeah one of my best trophies absolutely ever and one of the absolute rarest trophies that you can get so i am just absolutely stoked so 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 stoked but that is going to be it for this video. So I really hope you have enjoyed it. A lot of, a lot going on in this video between talking about the new map and some moose grinding clips and then, you know, some trophies from Revon Tuli and then finishing up with a couple of really rare trophies and obviously fine, finally with the hybrid. Just, yeah. 
I'm so, so happy about how this all went. I've been really lucky in the past sort of couple, well, week, week and a half, I'd say, of getting these clips. I've been really, really lucky. Really, really lucky. And I'm so excited about actually getting to share this with you all because, yeah, this is such a cool couple of trophies. And, yeah, I, I just, I never thought I'd get a hybrid hazel grouse ever. So, I'm, yeah, it's just one of those things I still don't believe I've got one, kind of like the Great One Moose. So, yeah, really, really excited about that. And I'm sorry if I'm rambling about how excited I am, but uh, it's just one of the coolest things to me. So, yeah, I'm just really happy about that. But like I said, that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.